Welcome to a TBC 410 feature video. In this video, we're going to be creating multiple projected surfaces, talk about plane definition, and take a look at projected surface properties. Before we get into the data set, I wanted to give you some context on what data we're looking at and what we're trying to do with it. This is a Google Earth image of a dam that we took scans of a few years ago and a few weeks ago. Our goal is to determine if the dam face has moved by comparing the old scan to the newest one. To do this, we would need to use projected surfaces to model the dam, because it has some vertical faces. If we tried using a traditional surface, we would get poor triangulation results on the vertical faces, much like what we saw earlier in the video. The poor triangulation would make accurate change detection very difficult, if not impossible. This is the data collected from the dam inside TBC 410. The data was collected with SureScan and Trimble Vision in Trimble Access. So the first thing we want to do is click Create Projected Surface in the Surface ribbon. Then we can name it. And then we can give it a color. We can select the first set of data. And then we can select the plane definition and we're going to go ahead and create a new one. The plane definition determines the z-direction or normal of your surface. Imagine your surface being created as like a sheet of plastic wrap being pushed onto your selected points from your normal direction. The plane definition should be created such that there are no points on top of each other with respect to that normal direction, or else the plastic wrap would theoretically be stretched over those points, which is why you see the poor triangulation from traditional surfaces. Some of these options are like presets for how you want your plane oriented. Others require user input, like the three points option and the normal direction option. The three points option allows me to define my plane by three points in case I have a slope surface. And then the two points normal definition is just defining the normal axis of the plane. We're going to use the vertical plane option for this demo since it provides a quick and effective way to define a plane with a normal that is perpendicular to the vertical face of the dam. We do this by clicking two points on the vertical face of the dam. Now that we have the plane definition created and selected, we can hit OK and that will create the projected surface. And then we can turn the point cloud region off so we can look at the surface a little more clearly. And once we inspect the surface and see that it looks OK, we can begin to create our second projected surface with the second set of scan data. So the second set of scan data was collected with frequency interval scanning and Trimble Vision and Trimble Access. So that's why it might look a little different than the first set. We can run through the exact same process as before. So we hit the Create Projected Surface command. We name it, and we'll name it Dam Projected uh, Second in this case. Change the color again, and then we uh, double check that what we have selected is what we want to create a surface out of. And I'm just going to increase the point size here as well. And select my points. Make sure that we uh, try to crop out points that we don't need, but uh, we can always go and clean these up after the fact, and I'll show that in a second. So we select the same plane definition as before, and we hit OK. And plane definitions need to be the same because the surface geometry is tied to that normal direction. So here we can see that we have some noise, so we had some points that were uh, lying on top of each other relative to that normal of our plane definition. So what we're going to do is actually crop those out as best we can. So we're going to open up the cutting plane view and we're going to turn both of our surfaces on so that we can see them on top of each other. This cutting plane view from the perspective of our plane definition is going to allow us to create a CAD object at a constant elevation so we can use it as a surface boundary to cut out some of the noise in our surface. And we're going to use the create rectangle CAD object. We're going to name it surface boundary and we're going to create it on a separate layer just to make it easier to hide. 
you also might want to put your surface boundary on a separate layer just to make it distinct from other CAD objects that you're using for design purposes. And then we're also going to position it over the surfaces that have less noise. And once we have the rectangle created, we can hit close. We can go to surfaces in the surfaces tab, go to surface boundaries, and here is where we can add this surface boundary to both of our projected surfaces so that we can cut out uh, that noise. So we add it to the first and then the second. And now we've cropped our surfaces, so this will just make it a little bit easier to, to view for our cut fill map at least. So if we want to look at the properties of the projected surfaces, all we have to do is select them, right click, and hit properties. Here inside the properties pane you can see where the uh, projection orientation is and this is actually the plane definition in vector form. So this defines the uh, the three coordinate axes of the plane and this will tell you if you can compare two projected surfaces to one another. If they have the same projection orientation then you should be able to compare them. So here we have the second dam surface uh, selected. So if we select the first surface, we can go and check the projection orientation. Is that 999054000? Check the other. 999054000. So that means that these two surfaces have the same normal which means that they can be compared and you can run a cut fill map or an earthworks report on them. Be sure to check out the other projected surfaces videos if you want to look at uh, how to actually create some of these deliverables that we mentioned like the cut fill map and the earthwork report or custom reports.